How do you cash in and earn $869,000 re-uploading movies on YouTube? Stick around because it's easier than you think. I'll show you the loopholes that will allow you to start this right after watching this video. This is a step-by-step -step instruction with real strategies. When you're done watching the video, you'll be giving me a virtual high five. After all, this is a copy and paste method you can do over and over again. Earning that $869,000 will be highly attainable as long as you follow every step. Treat this as your business model and you're cross the finish line faster. But before we go any further, welcome to the Side Hustle Pursuit channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're up to date every time we release new money making content just like this. Now on to the video. Re-uploading movies. Do you know the potential of these high CPMs? Let me explain first. The average range is between $2 and $4. As this may not sound like big numbers, let's do the math. CPMs refer to the amount you'll make every 1,000 views. If you have 500,000 views and you multiply that by 2, you've got a million dollars. Take this movie channel for instance. If you're wondering about where to find the movie clips or how to go about finding the audio, these are just the tip of the iceberg. We'll explain how to avoid movie copyright claims too. The best part is you never have to show your face. Think about it, while most people have their mug on YouTube, you can sit back and enjoy the ride of never having to be in the video. Raise your hand if you think this is a cool way to earn $869,000. I know, you're wanting to know the name of the channel we're modeling. I promise we'll get there. But let's start at step number one. Re-upload movies from a website. Head to BoxOfficeMojo.com. This website organizes the revenue of box office movies in an easy to read fashion. Because the site allows you into the window of trending movies, you get an insider report that will in turn give you millions of views on your channel. Scroll all the way to the right where you can see the tab Indices. Clicking here will give you the who's who of the top movies of all time. Even if the movie is a little older, there's a good chance your high CPMs are possible mostly because of the popularity that still exists on the topic of that movie. This in turn will ramp everything up and you'll bring in your winning costs per thousand views on your YouTube channel. Starting with the method by using movies based on the Indices tab is a great start. Once the ball starts rolling, it's then you can start looking into newer movies on your channel. Okay, let's unveil the name of the channel we showed you from the beginning with those super high viewing numbers. It's called Mystery Recapped. The first thing you'll notice is that just a matter of months, this channel is pulling in high, really high numbers. From thousands to even millions, this tells you the potential for a channel like this. You may be wondering why people watch this channel and what makes it unique. While there are a lot of movie related channels, their videos are a short recap of the movie explained in about 10 to 15 minutes. They use an AI generated voice to explain it. To create your own short clips like this, it'll take you less than 30 minutes. Want to understand more about the channel you're modeling? Take the time to watch a handful of videos from Mystery Recapped. Stay inspired and learn from what you're watching. You may be thinking, yeah, but if I use those movie clips, won't I get a copyright claim on my channel? Think again, because there are other ways to do things, but the right way. Stick around toward the end as we'll explore the idea of more of avoiding copyright claims. Now we're on to the second step. In step number two, we want to find short movie explanations or even spoilers. The best way to explain this is in an example. So take the movie The Godfather, one of the best movies of all time. If you've seen it, hit the like button. Now head over to Google and search The Godfather synopsis. Google will display many things on that first page in your search results. While there's many to pick from, we recommend the site imbd.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom of their footer when on the imbd site and you'll notice they are an Amazon company. Hence being an Amazon company, the best content can be found for your movies. At first glance on imdb, you'll notice much information about it, including summaries as well as spoilers. The spoilers will give away what the movie is really all about. So, don't read it if you don't want to know it. That was a spoiler alert. Now, you want to use the spoilers at best to explain the movie with your YouTube videos. But beware, do not use the same exact spoiler 
used when searching on IMDB. This will lead you to an unwanted copyright claim, and you don't want that. The short of the long here is, if you want to do it the right way, simply grab the first paragraph and head to a site called spinbot.com. This site allows you to take content of any type and put a new spin on it. This is important as all the heavy lifting will be done for you. So taking the original content used from IMDB and then putting it in a spin bot will help keep you safe from any unwanted copyright issues. In this example, we'll grab a paragraph and put it in spin bot. Once pasted, go ahead and click basic spin. It's that easy with this intelligent software. Okay, you've got your new paragraph. You need a workspace to put all of this on. This is where Google Docs come in. To make it easy, just do a quick Google search for Google Docs. Click on it and go there directly, and you'll see the Google Docs tab. Click on that to use this completely free tool. If it's your first time here, you'll notice where it says start a new document. Click there on blank. Now go back and copy the paragraph that you had in spindop.com and paste it in your Google Doc. Now, go back and copy and paste paragraphs in SpinBot one by one from IMDB and then paste the newly rewritten ones in your Google Doc. Don't forget to name your Google Doc. You can do this by heading to the top left next to that blue pad icon. In the case here, if you're talking about The Godfather movie, just type in The Godfather. Quick recap so far. So, we've got the site BoxOfficeMojo.com, where we'll check out the movies for re-uploading. We've explained how to take from the IMDB site and rewrite things using SpinBot. But now we're on to the step number three. In step three, we will convert and complete those summaries into audio. There are a few methods for this, one being paid and one not. We will tell you both and you can make your own decision on that. Let's talk about your options and paid methods. There are two softwares you can use. The first one is voicemaker.in. You'll notice when you use it, it is particularly free and also partially paid. Just paste your script in the box and watch the magic happen. Head to the language and regions part and you have the ability to decide on a variety of different countries as well as the voices made available for free. Be sure to register on the site by heading to the top corner. It's completely free to register. Ready to try it? Head back to your Google Docs and grab a paragraph. Go ahead and paste it inside the box on voicemaker.in. Below the box, you'll see a couple of options under AI Engine. Check the neutral TTS. This option is best to keep the natural sounding voice. Then pick language and region. We'll keep it on English US. Now head to the right and pick a voice. In this example, we'll check Kendra, female. Click the convert to speech button. This will now allow you to listen to the voice speaking what you've already completed. Now you can download it. Practice using different voices to see which may work best for your channel. Voicemaker.in allows you 250 characters at a time to be used. And this is assuming you will be using the free plan. If you're just starting out, it may be the best option. But in the case you want to go a little further, check out their other plans. You've got basic, Premium and Business. If this is the route you want to go, we suggest Premium. For this plan, you'll have up to 3,000 characters at a time. It may be your best financial option, and of course the option to be able to use A13 Voices. Let's talk about the other paid software. This one is called Speechello.com. If it's more human sounding voices you're looking for, this may be for you. It's an impressive software that is more advanced than most. As your channel expands and is generating more revenue, this will be a great investment as you will need to start treating this like a business. But in the case you're still in the beginning stages, you still have the option of voicemaker.in. It's nice to know all of these tools are right at your fingertips. If you want to just use your own voice and use the free open software Audacity, you can easily do this with this option as well. And you may just have to pay for a mic. So now we're on to step number four. In step number four, we need to find the movie clips. You won't have to search far because all you'll have to do is go to YouTube where most of this already exists. How's that for resources? For example, if it's the Godfather movie in question, head to the search bar of YouTube and search the Godfather movie clips. As a rule of thumb, avoid big channels to take from and instead focus on smaller channels that are putting out these type of clips. Next, click on the video you're interested in. 
Once you see the video, scroll down to the share button. Copy that link, then head over to ytmp3.plus slash 102-youtube-2-mp4. This will now allow us to download the clip we've taken to our device. You'll see a mp3 and mp4 tab, click on the mp4 tab, paste your URL on the box, and click convert. Quick tip, remove the audio clips from these movie clips. One more time for the people in the back, remove the audio from the movie clips. This will ensure smooth sailing since you'll be able to avoid copyright issues. The other option, besides searching on YouTube for clips, is to download the complete movie. When you're editing, just take the parts you want for your videos, but be sure to add the flip effect in editing the clips used from the original movie. Your goal is to make it look different or unique from the original movie clip. By using this flip effect, you'll create a whole different angle that will again avoid trouble with uploading and worrying about copyright claims. You still may feel a little doubtful and that's understandable when it comes to using this type of content. But rest reassured, there is an available option there with explaining of more. It's called the YouTube Fair Policy. The Fair Use Policy page tells us because we are doing commentary over the movies, this will fall under the Fair Use Guidelines. It specifically says in their works of commentary that this is completely okay. Well, that's it for this short video. We hope you learned a lot. And if in fact you want to build up your own YouTube channel, there's always room at the top. We created some videos just for you on channel monetization and how to get subscribers fast. Just head to the description box below to find out more videos like this. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.